Rock 1975 here. I'm here with, I have a Hartke LH500. I'm about to change the tube in it, the preamp tube. It's been making a clipping sound. I did this about, had this about six years. Once it got about three years old, it was doing it. I changed the tube once before. And uh, whichever, it's got a 12AX7 tube in it. Now one thing while you're changing the tube, of course, make sure it's unplugged. Now, before I get some contact cleaner, while you're doing this, spray your jacks out real good. Don't be afraid to get some of that cleaner on it. Spray your cord, whatever you're practicing with. Spray your jacks and your guitar. That's, a, that's something you should do maybe once every couple months. Those jacks need cleaned out. Or if you're playing out, of course, the jacks in the back. But always make sure they're unplugged. So, anyway, getting to this. I done took the screws out. You got 10, 10 screws here. They go all the way around the top of this. Okay. I use a regular screwdriver. Don't try to use a small one when you strip those screws out. This is a regular size screwdriver. It worked fine. And I bought a tongue sole. Got this from Musician's Friend. I paid $17 for it. Again, you get the, the one that's your choice. Read your reviews. I don't know, people say that they don't make much of a difference. So here's the lid, okay? I took the lid off, <coughs> we're inside. Right here's a protector. I guess this thing protects it. You twist it like this. Okay, see it's got the little notches in it. That protects the, there's the tube right there. Okay, I'm about to pull the tube out. Okay, it's out. There it goes. It's the old one. This one is a... Uh, this a Mahler. That's, that's what they put in the heart keys. That was what was originally in there. I decided to go with this other one. Just see if there's any difference. I don't think so, but... Some say there's some difference. So you gotta be careful with this. Okay. See there's a set space right there. The prongs right there, there's two spaces. Now look down in here. See the space, see the space right there? Okay. Line that up. Okay. Got it in there. There we go. And another thing, wash your hands before you handle this. These tubes. Okay, let's put this on it. Okay. I put that thing back on. Okay, I'm gonna plug this thing in while I got it open. Let's see what it's like, what it sounds like. No, I'm not no guitar repairman, amp repairman by far. This is something you can do yourself. If you have the Harky LH1000, I guess the 1000 has two of these tubes in it, from what I'm told. So. Yeah, let's plug, let's plug the old Jackson in. Okay. 
it goes. You see it starting up, it's fans on already. Yeah, you heard click. Let's see what it sounds like. And I'm going to tell you, it sounds better. So, don't get rid of your amp. Try changing the tube first if it's clipping on you. And these active bases, like this Jackson, it was the only time it was acting up when I run play the active bass because I got my my Squire. It's got these passive EMGs in it. It didn't do it. It was only with the active instruments. So if it starts clipping while you're playing an active instrument, more than likely it's just preamp tube. So, but clean them contacts out. Thank you for watching, J-Rock 1975.